So we're here with the R dot. Hello, so who are you? Hello, my name is Felix Carlson with the R dot. I'm the CEO. And uh, right here you have a, a smart poster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're doing, uh, what are you doing? Uh, a uh, special display technology? Yeah, so we're making okay. a printed electrochromic so display. Uh, it's based on polymers. Uh, we have a roll-to-roll -roll, uh, screen printing process. Uh -huh. So is everything is, uh, your display? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, so this is uh, this is the actual active area of the display. So this is a simple demonstrator of uh, how you can indicate, for instance, carbon dioxide levels in the poster. Is it high right here? Yeah, it's, it's high right now. It's really high right now. It's <laughs> because it's... I guess maybe I'm too breathing. close breathing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And uh, uh, here's also showing your display. Yeah, exactly. So here we have a simple clicker with a PCB. Um, so here it is. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So this is a simple camera. Yeah, but then you can make them in various colors. Like we have this green. So what's special about your display? Red. So what is this uh, electrochromic so yes. technology you have? Mm -hmm. like so what is special about our display is uh, the uh, ultra low cost the thanks to the manufacturing okay. process. We also have the it's also very, very um, energy efficient. Mm -hmm. So I can show, if you have a battery, I can show the switch. Yes. Higher effective red and green to dark. All right, so this is the off state. And now I'm touching the electrodes. This is a three volt battery turning it on so this is approximately 100 millisecond switch and it will retain this image up to an hour approximately and as you can see it's very bendable it's on a plastic substrate um, somewhere around 120 microns thick so it retains for an hour yeah somewhere so it's not bi-stable it's not fully bi-stable it's uh, what we say semi bi-stable so how does it work uh, it's it's a conductive polymer based electrochromic time so it's uh, ions flowing in and out of the video no, changing no, no, the optical no, state. No, no, no. I just, just, so is general, this going to be great for uh, IoT? Yeah, yeah. What is this? So, what is this show? Mm -hmm. This show, it's uh, it's the uh, it's actually a watch application. So you have a watch? Yeah, I have a watch. It's a little bit. Uh, yeah. Nice. So what, what does this we'll do, this watch? Does it show the real time? So, yeah, it shows the real time. So what we're showing here is actually that we can uh, assemble um, the electronics straight on the display substrate. So this is the, the watch. So we have all the electronics on this on the uh, display. So we call it system on display. What's the electronics you have there? Uh, that's uh, some simple MCU. And some ST something or? Uh, this is, uh, let's see here. Okay. So it has a clock yeah, running yeah, yeah, on yeah, a microcontroller? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We also have a crystal there to make it uh, more accurate. Is this printed electronics around it? It's uh, Everything is printed except so for the, the, you know, the, the conventional chip. chips. And how about the battery? I don't know much. The battery is on top of this. So we don't see, see a battery right now. So we add the battery on top. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As much as nice. And uh, so your watch, can we see it again? Yeah, sure. So it shows the time. What else? Yeah, this is, we have three indicators right here. So this is what we say, uh, like general purpose indicators. The what, general what? Um, general purpose indicators. So it can be, for instance, if you have any missed calls, if you have any, um, I mean, you name it, you have a schedule a meeting, something like that. It could um, be like a smartwatch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, very, it's a very like low end smartwatch. Uh, but what, what we're actually showing is this system on display. Uh, do you have something like this on the market? Uh, we don't. We don't have anything on the market right now. We're a little bit pre-production stage. Where are you based? Uh, we're based in Sweden. And uh, how soon? How soon? Um, how soon is all this on the market? Yes, yeah, so we do have a large-scale scale manufacturing partner, so we can reach the market. We can go to millions of units, uh, probably within six months. So, what, if somebody makes an order? Yeah. And uh, here you're showing the smartwatch too. Mm -hmm. So this is a smartwatch that's fully printed. Yeah. 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 So I just need to clarify it's a bit like that like magic, but it's not. Sorry, it's, uh, don't need actual images. Is it like a segmented display? It is a segmented display. So we don't we don't sell the smartwatch. We sell the display. Yes, because of the. So, but you have different. Is it all segmented? Yeah, it is. It is. Yes. And I can also show that we have some colors. Mm -hmm. So we can switch uh, the colors here. Yeah. Um, so this is the bright red. This is bright red. So here's Can you go from? Clear to open. switching to black. Clear. All right. The whole screen switched, right? Yes, the entire screen. Maybe yeah. fully transparent. And I can go back to. Can you go from yeah, some level like transparency? Trans 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 can go yeah. back to uh, bright. Some kind of opaque. Nice. It's really bright. Yep. Yeah. So we can do this in really large areas. 
not not at the moment. So here we have some bigger structures. Yeah, they're working on there. Okay. And they're also moldable. Yeah, it'd be very interesting uh, to hear if you can do. Yeah. We can mold yeah. them. So if you have a device with a certain bend radius, we can pre pre mold them if needed. Perfect. And uh, are you able to do and like uh, architecture? A picture, Huge. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. So we, I mean, that's yeah. actually the first nice. purpose why we right. made these tiles. Yeah. So we can make these tiles and we can connect them together and we can make a huge display. But yeah. uh, what's then the price? See how far uh, it's, it's a very low cost. Like it really depends on the yes, application sure. and what kind of features you want. Yeah. Um, like, are we talking cents? We're talking cents. Yeah. Cents? Per, per square centimeter. Nice. And uh, do you have more over here? What is this demo here? Yep. So this is kind of a ball pen blue. Um, this is a blue. Switching to... Oops. I think we have some connectivity Hello. issues. It's not connecting properly, but it's switching to white. Okay. It should switch faster? Or? Yeah, it should switch faster. So how does it work to switch? Is it like some current yeah. goes in there and says it can switch now? Yeah, it, it's, you apply a voltage and um, it's uh, ions flowing in and out of the electrochromic material. And that will change the optical performance of the polymer. So how does this compare with e-ink, for example? Mm -hmm. uh, so we are targeting a more low-end market comparing to e-ink. Um, so we have a cost advantage in relation to e-ink. Uh, also for certain applications we are lower power than e-ink. If you switch it more frequent than uh, presses 5 to 10 times per day, we consume less energy per, per the same area comparing to e-ink. Any chance you can do active, active metrics, so it's called a fully, uh, what's called a fuel display? Yeah, yeah, so we haven't done that yet actually. Uh, what do you need to do to make it happen? Mm. Yeah, we need to pixelize it. Um, so the limitation right now is uh, in yeah. terms of resolution. Uh, right now we're making a little bit, uh, you know, yeah. uh, segmented. It's not high resolution displays. So we're targeting uh, more low end yes, markets with this one. Do you have any questions? Um, is, was, is this uh, shelf labels? What, what yes, they, they can be used for shelf labels. Um, they can also be used for packaging. Um, for instance, the IoT and sensor applications. So more or less, wherever you need a uh, very, very low cost, very, very low power uh, solution, this is the perfect fit. Nice. Uh, so uh, you from Sweden? We're from Sweden. And uh, um, what's next? What's next? Uh, I think uh, we're kind of still searching for the first perfect fit to the market, the first really, really big application. We'll have a lot of... Um, uh, custom designs with custom designs um, projects with customers. Uh, the next step is to reach large scale manufacturing. And it could probably